What are we on here? Let's see. Twenty feet six zero. Where's my coffee this morning? Coffee? And then my keys. Where'd I put my keys? No, oh, they're over here. No shoes. It's like I have so many things I have to get at one, you know, to just to get out of the motor home. Get back. Oh, I got so much, so much stuff. Bruh. A little cooking out here this morning. She cooking. Look at this here. Let me get my let me get my coffee sit down mm. two more days in paradise that's about what this boils down to hey guys welcome to the channel let me get over here and get this golf cart ready drink my coffee this morning mm -hmm. I'm still trying to wake up what happens when you're camping it takes a while to wake up yeah let me just uh, let me put you guys let me put this down right here somewhere how about that Will that work gonna unplug the golf cart and get it get it revved up gotta find the right keys I have too many too many keys my wife says it's the longest key I guess she's trying to tell me something all right so First of all, we're gonna unplug the charger for the single 12 volt battery right there. And then we're gonna unplug the charger for all the 48 volt batteries or all the batteries that make up 48 volts. Right there. So now we're good to go for a fun day of golf cart riding around the Willow Tree RV Resort. That's where we're at. We're at Willow Tree. I'm going to take y'all on a little tour. If I can get my mess going here. Let's see here. I wonder if I can put you guys somewhere in this golf cart. Let's see. Eh, maybe not. I'll just hang on to you. That might be the, that might be the best thing to do. All right. Let's back up. Back it up, Charlie. Oh, got to turn the key on. Look, got that. Back it up, Charlie. Let's watch the side of the RV. The Palazzo. We don't want to scratch that. New daddy. All right. Let's see here. All right. It's a little warm this morning. Just a little warm. But that's all good. That's what it's supposed to be when you're at the beach. Let's see, uh, I think we're gonna go, we'll go this way. Let's go this way right here. And I'll turn the camera around so you guys can see the park. How about that? Will that work? That'll work. Y'all don't care about seeing me anyway. Y'all just wanna see the park. I know what it's all about. All right, so. Tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna drive around the lake first. I'll show you guys the lake they have here. There's all the jump houses and aqua glides and fun things for the kiddos to do. I'm too old for that stuff now, so we'll just leave that to the kids. But here's the lake, and from what I understand, this lake was a uh, used to be a rock quarry. They mine rock out of this thing for a long time. Oh, there's a bird. He didn't want to move. 
I mean, like, he didn't really want to move at all. Here's the campers. You can see the campers backed up here to the lake. And they have a, they got a golf cart trail, running trail, whatever you want to call it around the lake. You can ride your golf cart, ride your bicycle. You can walk, you can run, you can do whatever you feel like, I guess. Whatever you're in the mood for, just. Now there's the Canadian geese. Those are not, those are not ducks, guys. Those are Canadian geese. Always remember this. If it looks like a duck, acts like a duck, quacks like a duck, it must be a duck. MR not ducks. MR Canadian geese. So. Anywho. We're going to slide right around here and check this place out. It is quite fascinating. How you doing? Nice camp spots. Yep. So it's pretty nice to take a stroll around the lake here in the golf cart. Kind of unwind, chill out for a little while. And oh yeah, these rocks, uh, there's some big rocks, but it looks like they put those in since last year. So I'm assuming, well, this is the, this is the backside of the, look at the turtle. Here's a turtle, check it out. That turtle right there, watch that turtle. I wish I could zoom in with a GoPro. I don't know if y'all can see this. He comes up here. Let's watch him. See that turtle? Can you see him? Too bad GoPros don't have really good zoom, but you might. I don't know if y'all can see the, see the turtle through the camera. Y'all might be able to. I should go into water with the camera. You know what? Maybe today I'll go into water with the camera because this water is clear as clear as can be, and you can actually go. You can go swimming over there, and the fish will come right up to you. So I might I might take you guys underwater for some underwater GoPro action. How's that sound? We'll try that later. But uh here's a turtle. Let me see if I can get I don't know if I can get close to that turtle. We'll, we'll just we'll go in the water over there and we'll we'll play in the water today. He's chilling out. But anyway, well, as I was saying this is the dam back side of the lake. And it's no rock quarry so there's no telling how deep there's no telling how deep that lake is. It's probably God, if it was a rock quarry and they mined, they mined rock out of this thing for years and years and years for the Myrtle Beach area. There's another turtle. I can guarantee you this lake, I bet it's a thousand foot deep. Why? No, 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 no. It's, it's probably, it's probably 300 foot deep in the very middle. I've never taken a boat out there with a uh, depth finder to see how deep it is, but I bet it's, it's like, it's so deep it's not even funny. But it's just, it's beautiful. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, you can almost tell where the thing right past this moss right here, you can just tell where it just drops off into the abyss. But I bet it's, I bet it's deep. Maybe I can find out today from some of the park people, excuse me, uh, resort people, if they know how deep it is, they might know. Maybe I can get some intel for you guys, but uh, it's still, it's, nonetheless, it's, uh, it's beautiful. But they put this rock here, I guess, to keep the dam in check. But uh, the dam side back here is basically a trail going around it. It's a very wide, very wide dam, so I'm sure it's all good. This is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yep. Good morning. I may have to add some music to this so it won't be so boring. And y'all won't hear me sniffling and hacking and coughing up in the morning. It's all good. Let me get some of my coffee here as uh, we ride around here and enjoy this uh, beautiful view.
You got it. Good morning. That dude looked pissed off. Oh well, okay. <laughs> uh, you, some, you know, you say good morning to people and they just like turn their nose up. Hey, it's all good, right? <laughs> Let's see here. The one thing I wanted to check on to see if my GoPro was in um stabilization mode let me let me come back and let me turn this let me turn this thing off for a minute i'll come back guys hang on a minute i'll be right back <sighs> my battery's gonna die here pretty soon that that 4k at 60 frames per second tore this gopro slam up <laughs> battery just it eats batteries like no one's business literally but hey we may get a little bit a little more video for you i've got more batteries and sd cards but that means i have to stop what i'm doing go in and get them but hey we'll see how we'll see how this video goes and uh see if i get some likes on it so we get some views and No, oh no, that ram got smashed, oh no, anyway, okay, so, where was I going with this, oh, so, I mean, I've almost lost interest in YouTube, guys, um, I, I'm not, I'm not getting, I mean, I know I need to put more content up and you know every everybody's content is unique and uh but i don't know it, it's <sighs> i watch a lot of youtube videos and frankly I, i'm i'm starting to get you know tired of the ones i <laughs> i watch to be honest with you it's just it's a really 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 it's a hard thing to to get into and uh i mean you gotta be you gotta be like the big dogs to get any anything make anything happen on youtube and it's not that i'm trying to make anything happen on youtube it's just that um i like doing it so i mean i just i don't know if i'm gonna be i don't know if i'll be putting up as many videos in the future um as I've been putting up um, because it just I'm too busy um, it, it's almost like you have to make it a job and I'm I'm not here to make it a job so the way I look at my YouTube videos is basically home movies <clears throat> for me and my family in the future you know it'll be something my It'll be something my kids and my grandkids will be able to just hop on the internet and you know as long as youtube's still around which i'm i'm pretty sure youtube will be around long after i'm dead and gone but you know it's something i put up there just so my kids and grandkids and whatever when i do have grandkids i don't even know if i don't have grandkids but you get the idea they can go out there and look at and look at my home videos so you know basically the way the way i look at youtube is, is if you want to if you want to come see my home videos um come to my channel um you know i i try to do this do this thing as a car content rv content thing and it just there, there there's there's already so many out there with you know, there's some channels that got a half a million subscribers. There's some channels with 250,000 subscribers. I've seen some channels with a million subscribers, but you know what? It's it, whatever. It's uh, I'm, I'm too old for it. It's 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 a young, it's a young person's game. I mean, if you if you're a 19 year old RVer, you know, just doing crazy stuff, 
you know, or, you know, 20-something or 30-something-year-old young family with small kids, you're going to get the views. I know, I, I get it. Um, but if you're an old guy, middle-aged guy with really not much going on, you know, like I said, it's it becomes home movies for me at this point, you know family videos that if my family and kids want to hop on YouTube at some later time maybe I'll be here maybe I won't I don't know then you know what that's that's what I'm doing so they'll <coughs> they'll look back at you know willow tree you know as they were growing up of course my kids are 18 now they're I mean they're getting ready to go to college but they uh they'll still look back on this and have memories and they can go back and check it out on my YouTube channel. So, yeah, it's, it's all good. But this is what we enjoy doing. Good times. Let's see how my battery's doing. The battery, uh, got 31% left. Usually this thing will cut off at about 25%. It's like, it just says I'm done. Done, 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 done. Yeah. Now let's roll through a typical camp spot here at Willow Tree. So this is a typical camp spot at Willow Tree. It's a very long. They have super, super duper long spots. So it's really cool. And they got some shaded areas over here, which is great. Yep. Somebody's cooking breakfast. It smells good. I think I'm going to have to cook some breakfast. Man, there's a nice super C right there. Is that a Lazy Days? That's actually a Renegade RV. A Verona. That's a nice one. Yes, sir. You're looking at a couple hundred thousand dollars right there for that. Yep. Ain't nothing but money. Always remember that, guys. It ain't nothing but money. And every single one of these RVs out here, no one purchased it for as an investment. It's the memories you build with it. Because I can guarantee you, the single trailer, the single RV, the single motorhome, whatever you want to call it, it ain't no investment. No sorry, buddy. It's just something to build memories with. And that's what we do. We build memories with them and we keep on fixing them and keep on trucking. Because something is going, look, there's an old, you know, I just, come here, this is an old Alpha Sia. Those things, okay, so the company here, I think they finally went out of business a long time ago. And these people are still enjoying that thing. That's freaking awesome. Huh. www.alphapleasure.com. Go see if that company's still in business. You know, I'm going to have to go to that website and see what comes up because that, that's awfully interesting. But look at the look at the poor slide out on the thing. They still use it, and the slide out looks like it's about to fall out of the thing. But I believe that one has that's got a caterpillar in it. So that motorhome's got some good bones to it. It's got a it's got a Freightliner chassis with a cat in it. Wow! No wonder that thing's still running. The house may fall apart, but the chassis's all good. Look at it. The slide out just about to fall out of the thing. I mean. I don't know. It seems like <clears throat> I would try to I would try to fix a slide out if I could. But I mean, these slide outs on these on these old RVs are just you can't you can't really fix them. I mean, it's just it's it's too complicated. I mean, you pretty much have to live. You gotta you gotta deal with the cards you were dealt with these slide outs. I mean, if those things start to fail, you're you're done. I mean, you're not gonna unless you're a freaking welder and a fabricator and you can just rebuild the thing yourself. You're not gonna be able to really. You're not going to be able to fix them. That's that's really 
what the situation is on that. But at any rate, let's get on back down here to the Palazzo, man. The front of that, the front of that ram was smashed. But we got a country star. We got a gas job challenger. We got a Tiffin Phaeton. That's a nice motorhome. But it still depreciates like everything else around here. Got an Integra gas job. Those are nice motorhomes too. I think Winnebago finally bought Integra. Something like that. And Thor Motor Coach bought Tiffin. I think they're I think they're keeping the Tiffin management, but it's they it don't it, the, the the out the long term outlook for Tiffin if Thor Motor Coach owns it probably will not be all that great. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see how that works out. And then you got the Palazzo, which is, it's all right. It is what it is. It's a work in progress. All right, we may go to the lake uh, in a little while and uh, check out the check out the swimming area. I might might take you guys underwater for some GoPro underwater action, but we'll see. Anyway. That was the morning tour of uh, Willow Tree, and uh, we'll catch y'all later. Have a good one.